drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. Is your fate the fate of the cursed? What's going on everybody? Grim here, and this is going to be the first episode of many in my uh, Dark Souls 2 series that I'm going to do since I just picked up this game. Uh, I'm so happy with this game so far. I know there's some people that have been complaining about graphics downgrades and frame rates and blah blah blah, but you know what? I'm a big fan of this series and I have yet to find any real faults with this game. Um, and you know, I don't even want to talk about that. I just want to play the goddamn game. That's really all I want. So let's just, let's just fucking go, bro. All right, let's do this. Okay. And we're running. Running through the forest. Did I just jump? Oh, that's a good old roll. Now, if you run to the right over here, you can find uh, an item right off the bat. Rusted coin. There we go. I never know when you might need one. Don't mock it. And keep going ahead. Do now. Oh, look. Secret passageway. Hmm. These look like friendly giant three toed tracks to me. Let's go have a look at what made them, shall we? And here we have our first hippo butt cyclops, bro. I hate his face. Fuck you, fatty. <laughs> Come get some. <laughs> Come on. No, oh, he's still coming too. Look at him. He's mad. Yeah, taking these guys out with your fist, I'm sure somebody has already done it. Uh, taking one of the one or you know, there's there's a point where I think you have to fight two of them. But uh, yeah, fuck him. I just wanted to butt punch him and run away. Uh, when I first started playing, that dude did grab me and eat my head. It's pretty goddamn awful. Now, if you run across a waterfall and you look down, you can see an item there. Now, you can take a running jump off of here, land next to the tree, and very carefully edge around. But there is a much easier way to do it. Which is this. Very smooth and silky stone. There we go. Always good to have some rocks. Yeah, we got a rusty coin and some rocks. Good to go. Take out the boss. I'm just kidding. We are nowhere near. I haven't even made a character yet. <laughs> ah, yes, the old ladies who laugh at you. And tell you that you suck, basically. All right, everybody, I finished making my character. I did make it deprived. Sorry, I cut through that stuff because I'm sure a lot of you have not only already seen it, uh, but I'm also not looking to do any early spoilers for people that haven't actually played yet. Uh, I picked it deprived, like I said, um, for two reasons. One, uh, make my playthrough more interesting, make whatever I want to make in two. I'm not going to have that tough of a time because I did pre-order the game and I did get the DLC weapons. As you can see, I did make a female character. Built like a goddamn linebacker, but you know. So, let's go ahead and charge ahead upstairs. There's a chest up here. We can open that bad boy up and see what it's got for us. Human effigy, there we go. And yeah, I'm sure some people are going to notice that my female character is very pale with dark hair and red eyes. I am a big fan of the Fear games, which I will do a playthrough of someday. Uh, her name is also Alma since you asked so yeah we've got Alma in Dark Souls 2 alright without further ado let's get to some fucking demon slaying because that's what we're here for god damn it nobody gives a shit about what I have to say they just want to see me get my ass kicked 
Uh, let's see, another DLC weapons. Uh, looks like I can't really uh, use any of them terribly effectively yet. We're only a couple level ups away from being able to do that though. No big fucking deal. However, we are going to put on some goddamn clothes. So we have all those uh, raggedy robes that we were wearing in the beginning of the game. There we go. Hey, it's better than nothing. Let's see which one of these is going to do the most damage. Uh, the homunculus mace. Dagger, straight sword, axe. Go ahead and try the yellow quartz longsword. Not even if I two hand it. Okay. There's gotta be. Let's try and figure out real quick what kind of weapon I could wield with two hands. Hmm. Let's try this one. No. Nope. Well, screw it. Let's just go. Let's go, bro. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and try using this one. Yeah, I know I can't use it effectively yet, but I'm still going to try. And this is the uh, pseudo-tutorial area. Through there, you're going to get your basics on how to attack. You will get some souls uh, from killing some undead dudes. Um, through there is all about, uh, you know, your guarding and your parrying uh, plunging attacks. Now, out there, here's a weird thing. A lot of people are confused about this. There's uh, two hippo guys out there. One of them you can't see. There's one standing right there. It looks like a boat. It's not a boat. It's a casket. And if you get into it, it changes your sex. Uh, so if I was to jump into it, I would turn into a fucking dude. Probably with an awesome beard. I don't know why that is the way it is or why that's a thing, but it is. It's a thing. Uh, yeah. So... Okay, well, whatever. Let's just do this, bro. Gotta get back that stamina. I uh, tried to go for the backstab. Circle for the backstab. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. Even though I can't wield this fucking thing too well. It still does a decent amount of damage. Better than my fists, I must say. Alright. This area is pretty fucking dark. Uh, I know a lot of you are like, oh, I know how to play fucking Dark Souls. Fuck you, I don't need to do a tutorial. Yeah, well, first of all, fuck you. Uh, second of all, I just died. But... <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, I didn't start off so well there, but like I was saying, um, you might think that you're hardcore enough to just skip the tutorial, which normally I would be uh, inclined to agree, but this game does not play just like Dark Souls. you got to remember that. They changed a lot of stuff. Uh, some of the mechanics are different. A lot of the timing is different, like for parrying and such. So it's great to do a refresher, plus there are some helpful items in here. I'm just gonna fucking deck this guy till he drops. Yeah, fuck you. Can you fucking backstab with your fist? I hope so, that'd be sweet. Yeah, fuck you, bro. Take it. Man, deprive hits like a truck, man. That's awesome. Alright. Going, keep going. All right, now we're gonna try to make this fucking jump this time by paying attention. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, like I said, there's some useful items in here. There's also something that you need to discover: uh, amber herb that's uh, used to recharge your spells, which is a fantastic addition to the items in these games. Man, let me tell you, how many times have you been fucking out as a using a character that uses miracles or sorcery, and you run out of casts and you are fucked? Especially early on before you have any good weapons that will scale off your intelligence. But, uh... 
back on topic, there is something I want to show you. Uh, let's two-hand our fists. Fuck you, bro! Yeah. Like it when I fucking double axe handle you in the back? From a cliff? That's right. One thing I gotta say about uh, using your fists is uh, punching these dudes. Oh, here's something you didn't know. I'll break down some of these doors, yeah. My house. <clears throat> Correct red eye, or we can invade some people if we really want to. Uh, I am playing online. I'm all. I'm. I am also playing on an evening when uh, they're supposed to do some server maintenance around uh, 11, I believe. And we don't want to deal with that, so I tried to get on a little bit earlier today to do this. Uh, let's see what we got in our inventory. I think I picked up some life gems. Human effigy uh, turning back into human. Like I said, recharges your spells. Dark sign. We obviously all know what that does. Uh, temporary boost luck with the rusted coin for item discovery purposes. Uh, yeah, I picked the petrified object uh, for my gift. And I will show you what to do with that. Because a lot of people um, thought that this was a joke. Like the pendant. It is not a joke. It is actually useful. As you can see, you can see where we are. Dive off of there. Alright. I'm going to try not to spend too much time in this area. There's just some items I want to get in one particular thing that I wanted to show. Uh, to people that might either run past it or have not uh, known what to do there. So, let's try to smash through these dudes. One thing you're going to notice right off the bat about this game is the movement speed for your character is a lot faster. Just your basic uh, jogging, I guess, walk animation. You move a lot faster than you did in the other games. I don't know, maybe later in the game, when you get some heavier armor put on and stuff like that, you'll go galumping along like we used to. Good old Demon Souls and Dark Souls, but... For right now, there we go, there we go, oh we did, fuck yeah, I think I just gave him a uh, proctology exam with my fist, yeah, going down there is a bad idea, uh, I know there's people who've taken both those guys out, um, and congratulations because I can't do it. <laughs> I've been down there and gotten stomped. There we go. Pretty sure I can equip the dagger. And that's one thing. If you're using a deprived character, yeah, see, it's it'll work. You can uh, find a weapon early on. Whoop. You just gotta make sure you go through here. I know a lot of people playing picking the deprived class, um, which is interesting. Did not see a lot of people picking the deprived class. Did not uh, think that people would pick the deprived class. Thought most people would be going for the Knight of the Swordsman, to be honest with you. Awful lot of people picking the Explorer for that item, uh, the item discovery, too. Which I suppose I can't be too surprised about. Come at me, bro. Yeah, you want to bait these guys into attacking. Not only is the movement speed faster, but it seems like the enemies are a lot more aggressive than they used to be in the older titles. Make of that what you will. Shoot me with a fucking arrow. Asshole. Life gem, there we go. Going to need that life gem. All right, let's venture through the fog. Okay, aha, here we go. Look familiar? A lot of people ran by this. You, you, give us food. Yes, you, give us it. Now oh, there's two of them this time. 
Now, show you why I picked this. Now make sure you pick leave, not discard. Not the same thing, guys. What did they give me? They gave me a Titanite slab for that. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty good. You can get some crazy items from these dudes by coming back here and dropping stuff for them. Uh, their drops are completely random. Uh, anywhere from building materials to special weapons and stuff. Let's see what else they give me. You can also use those smooth, uh, those pretty and smooth stones here. So that's what those are for. That's what you want to do. You want to bring them back here and leave them in the nest and hope you get something good. If nothing else, it's free building materials, life gems. What they give me this time? Bolt stone. I don't think I've picked up a bolt stone yet. Kick the ladder down. Here's something else for players starting out. Might not know this. To slide down a ladder, you hit circle and down. You hold circle and press down. If you tap circle, you'll jump off the ladder. Uh, I've heard quite a few people have made that mistake. You can actually drop down here. Here we go. Get another item. Another soul, the nameless soldier. Now these uh, these sconces, you can use torches to light them if you want. It'll uh, brighten up the area a bit. Uh, don't know if that's going to come into play heavily later in the game, if there's going to be pitch black areas like goddamn Tomb of the Giants or something like that, but... We will see. All right, let's move on out of the tutorial area. And yeah, it's good to make sure I'm online. A lot of people have been experiencing some uh, issues with the online um, issues, invading and doing co-op and stuff like that, losing soul signs. Uh, Majula, here we go. All right. Let's go ahead and use that life gem we picked up. There we go. Okay, now right off the bat here. Um, actually, it's not here, it's further down. But I mean, you can see that this game is a lot brighter uh, than the other Dark Souls games. And a lot of people are bitching about the graphics, but look at this. I mean, what the hell is wrong with this? This is beautiful. This is fantastic. I mean, nothing about this doesn't scream fucking epic. And look at this goddamn place. Look at that rock. That's an epic rock. Fuck you. Game's awesome. Get over it. Anyway, yeah, right here in between these two stones. Little platform you can drop down onto. Boosh. Look around, look around. Don't see nothing. Oh. Walk away. Hug the wall. Drop down. Turn around. And boosh. Morningstar and Cleric Sacred Chime. Now, Cleric Sacred Chime has taken the place of Talismans. That is what you need to cast miracles. Always a good thing to have. A pair of binoculars, hey. You can uh, check out these graphics. Oh, hey, Mr. Phantom, how are you doing? Now, this is the uh, Firelink Shrine uh, slash Nexus of Dark Souls 2. This is Majula. This is the hub center that leads to all the other areas. Go ahead and light this motherfucking bonfire. Uh, another thing about bonfires in this game... Well, I'm about to drop some of this shit off that's in my inventory I'm not going to use, like some of these DLC weapons. Black Flamestone Dagger. Nope. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Eh, we'll hang on to the mace, fuck it. Um. I just totally forgot what I was saying. Gone. Totally gone. We're going to hang on to the Cleric's Sacred Chime, not the uh, Aggressor's Staff. Now, shields... Uh, we want to keep the bound wooden shield because I believe it does it has the highest uh, physical defense rating out of all these shields that I got for free, which I'm happy about. Now we go ahead and drop off the uh, titanite slab and the bolt stone. And that's for upgrading your weapons and making them lightning, apparently. Oh, what I was going to say is that uh, your item, uh, your weapon degradation, uh, gets automatically repaired whenever you rest at a bonfire in this one. Uh, so you don't have to go to a blacksmith to repair your weapons. You can just rest at the nearest bonfire. However, if your weapon or armor breaks, it becomes useless, and that's when you have to go use a bonfire. Uh, 
trying to dispel any uh, preconceived notions people have about the mechanics in the game while I'm at it. Uh, trying to stay informed so that I can get on here and let people know what works and what doesn't. Okay, lots of blood stains around here. Must be a lot of people killing themselves or hitting NPCs when they're not supposed to. <laughs> uh, uh, here we go. Are you the next monarch? For purposes of me needing to level up, yes, yes, I am. And she gives you your Estus flask. So you definitely don't want to miss her. She's standing over here by this little tree. Uh, she is the. Uh, Emerald Herald, let's just call her the Maiden in Green. Because that's what I'm going to fucking call her, because I miss the Maiden in Black and wish they brought her back. But, you know. Anyway. Let's move on. Yes, yes. I will seek souls. I'll find the king. I'll kick his ass, too. Let's see if I can level up any. I can. Sweet. Okay. Um. Hmm. I... Go ahead and do one there. And one in strength. And that puts us at level three. Gonna try to get those two up so I can wield some of these weapons and uh, shields that I'm picking up. Also good for putting on a new set of armor. Whoops, ran away from her. No big deal. Uh, and we're gonna run on up to this little tower here. And we got this dude. Who's going to let us join. You have that I am undead. This. I smell? Fuck you, you smell. You're the one sitting next to a big pool of blood. Now if you sit over here and you talk to this guy until you exhaust his dialogue... I'm sorry I'm skipping all the dialogue and stuff, but I'm trying to cram as much into these as possible. Um, plus I'm not going to sit here and ruin the story for you guys, I'm just going to show you how to get through stuff in case you get stuck. This guy is going to let you join the uh, Way of the Meek, which I just told him no. Uh, learn the gesture from him. Welcome. Join the Way of Blue Covenant. Yes, thank you. Okay, now this is not uh, the Blue Sentinels. The Blue Sentinels are the ones that go and... Uh, I'm already in the Covenant, okay. I'm sorry, the Blue Sentinels are the ones that get to go and help people in co-op. Uh, Way of the Meek are the people that get helped. By equipping this ring, if you get invaded, you should have a blue sentinel um, show up forthwith to assist you. What with you being meek and all. Alright, moving right along. Moving right along. Got a big undead blacksmith sitting here who's locked out of his house. I'll show you guys where to get the key in a little bit. You cannot break that door down. As it is metal. Uh, let's go on here. Here's... Got an item over here in this tent. Life gem, sweet. And yeah, there's a different way to go there, different way to go here. Uh, now, here's the pit that everybody's been looking down and talking at. There's all kinds of shinies down there. Uh, I'm not confident enough yet that I can make it all the way down here. And then in here we have Boz Kitty. Aww. What's going on? Yes. Yes. I am. I am talking to a cat. What did I want anyway? I smell wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Kitty. Now this is the one that lets you abandon covenants. Um, and check out the list of covenants that you've joined, apparently. Um, also has a small uh, sell some rings and stuff like that. You know, nothing too great. Ah, this might be a little too obvious to some people, but let's go ahead and there we go. And I won the prize, which is an Estus Flask Shard. Estus Flask Shard, uh, you take over to the Emerald Maiden, or the Maiden Green, as I have dubbed her. Uh, and you use it to reinforce your Estus Flask. Um... Now another thing a lot of people have been confused about is the human effigies. Um, there's two ways to use them. You can consume them uh, via your menu screen or just your uh, using square after you put them in your uh, item window. 
and that will turn you from hollow back to human, giving you all of your health back, blah, blah, blah. You can also burn them. What the hell? The pigs followed me? Stupid piggies. These things are so fucking hard to hit. God damn it. Anyway. Uh, you can also burn them at your local bonfire. And that will uh, make it so people cannot summon in that area, I believe, is the way it works. Either can't summon, can't summon co-op players or can't summon uh, phantoms to help. So it's good. Ah, man, this fucking knife sucks for fighting these little dudes. Anyway, that door is locked. Uh, and then this door here leads into Mofflin the Armorer, who's going to make us some fucking sweet-ass armor later. I just don't have any money right now. Dude, really? I don't have time for pigs right now. I seriously don't have time for pigs. I, don't, I also don't have a weapon that I can defeat them with easily, so... Fuck it. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna run on up here. Oh, you know what? Can I use that fucking Morning Star? I didn't even think to see. Gotta have 15 strength to use it. Oh, can I two hand it? Since I don't have a shield? Yes, I can two hand the Morning Star. Awesome. Okay. Uh, another thing you wanna make sure you do is you equip uh, Estus Flash to the window, uh, Life Gems. Human effigy, and I think we're good for now. All right, so let's press on. Got to press on. Got to move on. No idea where I'm going, but I'm fucking going there. Ah, I'm totally going the wrong way. That's part of it. Uh, there's nothing up there. There's a dude. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to that area later. There's I, I, there's literally nowhere you can go over there right now. Uh, you need an item, and it's an item that I totally don't have. So, yeah. Uh, I have played a little bit of this game so far. I'm running this playthrough next to another playthrough that I'm doing with uh, the first character I made. I made a cleric, which another... <laughs> which is a class that nobody fucking picked. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the, this and that playthrough are going to be running pretty much side by side. I run down here. Kind of, sort of open this door. Do, do, do. Another thing that I thought was interesting is that they didn't bother to have, there's no Lord Vessel or having to defeat a boss to travel between bonfires. As soon as you get to a bonfire, you can unlock it uh, and, and instantly um, fast travel, which is, I just thought was crazy. Okay, obviously there's an item down there. A lot of people seen that. Uh, move around here. Yeah, just be careful getting on the plank here. Don't wanna you know, take a header into that water because it is bottomless. And just as you saw that phantom do, you can run off of here and jump and make it over there. Um, but there is, again, just like that waterfall I showed you in the uh, tutorial area in the beginning of the game, uh, there's a much safer and easier way to do shit around here. Which is called... Just running around a little bit. Exit the cave, take a hard right. Another right, and boosh without trying to uh, jump over a bottomless pit. Well, these phantoms are making me look bad today. <laughs> it's okay though. There's a lot of people that have just been playing this game non-stop. I have not had a chance to play it non-stop as much as I'd like to. Yeah, you like that. It's also nice to have a weapon right off the bat that does a uh, status effect. I believe the Morningstar does uh, bleed damage. Which is fucking fine with me, man. Life gem. Woo! I needs me some life gems. What's up, bro? Conquistador looking motherfucker. Yeah. Hmm. 
and there's a couple dudes around here waiting to ambush you. Uh, there's also an archer. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, he just fired a fucking arrow at me. So you want to kind of stay away from the edge over there. That archer is going to start putting arrows in your ass. Yeah, well, we're going to go over here and have a little chat with you, Mr. Archer. And you got a dodge roll because there's a dude right there with a sword and a shield. Go ahead and drink an Estus. Estix? Estus? There you go. You know what? Have a backstab, fuckface. Ooh! That damage. Where's your fucking sword now, asshole? Alright. <clears throat> Moving right along. Uh, yeah, there's a shiny over here, but you gotta watch out. These messages will tell you that this dickhead with the axe gets right the fuck up and starts trying to chop you. So just, you know, heads up, watch out. <clears throat> Excuse me, so loss undead, nice. Gonna be eating those later, whether it's to level up or whatever. And we're gonna run back over here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Light this here bonfire. I'm not going to rest at it because I don't want to have to fight all those dickheads I just killed again. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm thinking I can hopefully make it to where I wanted to get to today. Let's see. Let's see what happens, bro. Probably going to get my ass kicked. Yeah, big fucking ladder. Lots of bloodstains in the area. can only mean one thing. And that is that there is a huge mob of fucking guys up here. Meandering around. Yeah. Oof. They mean business today, too, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and drink that other Estus I was holding. Luckily, that archer's a bad shot, apparently. Oof. Motherfucker. Okay, he's not doing so bad as far as hitting me anymore. That's cool, though. It's cool. What's up, bro? Keep chilling. Now, initially, when you get in here, you want to do everything you can not to piss, not to accidentally hit that guy. Uh, because he will get up and stomp a mud hole in your ass. Uh, you want to try and uh, hang back, take those guys out that rush you like I showed you. you. Try to keep your distance from him, make sure the archer doesn't actually... I don't know if the archer can accidentally hit him or not. God, I fucking hope not. Yeah, let's see here. Climbing up the tower. There we go. And there's a couple dudes hanging out up here around the edge. So I'm sure you can see. Oof. The axe man cometh. Here we go. Is it just me or all these guys have mustaches? Hmm. Alma does not like mustaches. I did pick up a piece of armor. Let's check it out. I picked up a piece of something. There we go. Hollow infantry gloves. Better than what I'm wearing. Fuck it. We are deprived, so we are just going to take what the f whatever the fuck we get. Solomon, nameless soldier, always good, always good. More souls, more souls for me to eat for breakfast. You motherfucking... Oh. And I missed. Fuck you, why don't you go down there and see how it is? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. Alright, made the jump. Sweet. Sweet. Because, ooh, found a short sword. Short sword. I like swords. Let's see if we can handle the short sword. What is this? Dagger. I can use the straight sword. I can use the broken straight sword. Excuse me. 115. Yeah, but the mace is still better. Uh, yeah, but this has got two parameters, okay. 
Oh, I can't even two-hand the fucking sword. Well, fuck it then. God damn it. <laughs> what? No, not that one. The Morning Star. There we go. Okay. We're still two-handing this beast. And yes, at the menu, you can make it so... I'm sure you can hear me clicking my buttons an awful lot when I'm running. I switched it over to uh, Double Tap Circle to jump. Um, you do it at the menu before the, before you start the game or at any point during the game, you can pause it. Uh, yeah, I'm just, that's the way I'm used to, man. I'm not fucking clicking the left thumbstick. That just seems awkward. But moving right along, moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we have the, uh, these guys I believe are called, uh, uh, White Knights of, uh, Heidi or Haiti or something like that. Knights of Haiti. They're big nasty dudes and you see this guy's not gonna have any dialogue for me or anything so let's just go ahead and piss him off. Woof. Yeah. He's not a fan of me. <laughs> I did hit him with a fucking morning star. Woo. Woo. Now you can uh, draw this guy over to the pit over there. And get him to take a tumble down there if you want. Woo! And we're about to die. And honestly, the easiest way to deal with this guy is to climb for your life because he cannot climb ladders. Isn't that fucking handy? Now where'd he go? Is he still underneath me? Yeah, he's still underneath me. Let's see if I can get him with a fucking plunging attack. Oh, got me, son of a bitch. <laughs> 